Alright, hello everybody. I am Square Stingray and I am doing a voice over speed draw of something. I don't know. Um, actually I do know because I already did it. But that's okay. Uh, this is just practice for me to be able to upload and quick draw and do whatever because I've never really done this before. So here we go. Um, we're on the same sinking ship. Um, together. <laughs> Uh, so if you look at the screen, I'm looking at references because this is the first time that I've drawn in, like, what, three months, maybe? Um, I've been away at art school and at college, and it has been a lot demanding than I thought it would be. Um, it's like a very needy boyfriend or girlfriend or friend friend. So it just de demands a lot of my time and a lot of my effort and by the time I get back I don't have any time to actually draw so at least draw what I want to anyway uh so that's why I did this for like the first time in like a couple of months anyway um I've been pretty busy uh doing literally art stuff and yeah it's been really stressful and tiring but that's okay um if you see on the screen I'm not doing very well, which is okay. Uh, dear God, okay. It feels like I'm just watching myself draw at the moment. I'm not really good at making videos ever, so bear with me, please. Anyway, this is about what, six minutes longer than I thought it would be, or it's going to be six minutes long. Grr. Anyway, I'm going to talk more about this weird thing I'm doing. So I was at the library at our university and I was looking for books to read because I've been really not reading lately. So I went to the fourth floor and got some art history books on Renaissance painters, Leonardo da Vinci, on Michelangelo, Raphael, those people. Um, and it, I was reading one on Leonardo da Vinci and apparently would be that he would go to like markets and whenever he would see a caged animal or most of the time he would buy it just to set it free, which I found that really adorable and totally a Hufflepuff move. So there you go. I decided to draw uh, that in a very chibi way uh, as to make it not so hard on myself to get myself back into drawing with the Wacom tablet. Um, so whenever I do actual drawing on my tablet, I usually, it takes a long ass time. So using Chibi, that would be a bit more quicker to me, I guess, or a bit more loose. So I wouldn't have to push myself too hard and make myself feel bad. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I used a reference from Assassin's Creed fan art because why the heck not, right? So I did that, um, as to, uh, according to like costuming and um, appearance as well uh, for my little chibi dude, my chibi Leonardo, which has turned out pretty well. I had some struggles with the cape at first because I'm not very good at doing capes apparently, so keep going, I'll get it eventually. There we go. All right, um, so that was interesting. Um, a lot of other things I learned about Leonardo da Vinci um, basically made me have a brain crush, as my mother put it. So basically, it's not like a, like a uh, like a love crush, it's like a brain crush. So it's like you're crushing on their brain and their smarts and their intelligence. So, yeah, uh, this, this dude is so crazy. <laughs> this dude is insane. Um, he invented a whole bunch of things that we use today uh, that I didn't even know about. Like the ball bearing, like okay, um, he doodled bicycles before they were even invented. Uh, he's just such a smart, or was he was just such a smart individual, and it just blows my mind. Basically, he's also very um, edgy, I guess in a way. His notes are very philosophical, if you will. Um, but it reading it, reading them basically feels like I'm reading someone's late night Tumblr post, but it's in Renaissance diameter. So that was really interesting and fun. Um, 
another thing I've learned is that he was probably gay, which is low-key awesome because, you know, of course, you want representation in art world. So that was pretty interesting to find out. And also really kind of funny uh, because basically the person that he uh, liked a lot basically just took advantage of him being really attracted to him, which is kind of bad, but basically his relationship partner was kind of a dick, which is sad, but I don't know. Um, another thing I learned about Leonardo da Vinci was he was left-handed, which now to me seems pretty obvious because he writes backwards because of that, probably. Uh, because if you use a quill ink pen, it would be a lot harder to write from left to right left-handedly. Um, like ink would smudge and everything, and that would be terrible. So he did it backwards to make it easier for himself, which is really, really smart. Yeah, I also noticed that in a lot of Leonardo's paintings, there's a lot of pointing going on. Also with um, Michelangelo, there's just a bunch of pointing. Pointing towards the sky, pointing at this thing. It's very strange, I'm not sure what the true meaning of it behind it is, but um, that's okay. He, in his notes, basically have the, has this quote um, about like life and art and so it's really weird and really deep. I uh, pulled up the book so it literally says in life beauty perishes not in art um, and that's really really deep and weird so uh, other things that he says are like Tears come from the heart, not from the brain, and the thoughts turn towards hope. And all these really, really deep and edgy things, which makes me laugh because it's literally Renaissance period Tumblr. <laughs> so, um, in this video, I didn't actually uh, completely show the entire process of me completing this. I kind of stopped recording after I finished the line art. So, um, I will show you guys the finished piece after I'm completed with it. So, here's the final piece. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoyed watching me talk about it and record. And obviously this is my first recording ever, so don't be too hard on me. And I won't be too hard on myself. Um, this is just a first punch in the wall to get myself going. So, thanks. See you later. Bye.